The Marvels is breaking records, but all the wrong ones, with the lowest MCU box office opening in history and more. Why did this happen, and what are the chances we ever get another Captain Marvel movie with Brie Larson? I'll explain. How long will you play Captain Marvel for? I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do it again? <laughs> don't be so modest. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have the answer to that. The Marvels opened this weekend and it crashed and burned, to put it mildly with 47 million in its opening weekend to land the worst debut in MCU history. The title was held before by Edward Norton's Incredible Hulk, but that movie opened with 55.4 million, that's $8 million more. Ouch! But Hector, the movie probably did banging business worldwide, right? Well, I got some bad news for you. This movie fell short of expectations at the international box office with 63.3 million from 51 countries for a worldwide start of 110 million, but Disney was hoping to generate at least $140 million globally over the weekend. And to make things worse, the Marvels cost $220 million to produce and roughly $100 million to promote the film to audiences across the globe. That's a total of $320 million, so the movie had to make $820 million to break even. Do you think with these numbers they will be able to do it? Ok, ok, but enough with the movie math, what do you think this happened? Surely the movie was affected by Hollywood strikes, as the actors were not able to promote the movie. And yeah, that's certainly a factor, but remember this little movie Oppenheimer? That movie faced the same problem and was a huge success. Not to mention Brie Larson often attracts more negative energy during promotion than good. And that two of the three of protagonists are TV actors that mainstream audiences don't really know anything about. Another big factor is superhero fatigue. And yes, superhero fatigue is here and it cannot be denied. Marvel is coming out of a string of critical and financial failures, not only on the big screen but also in the small one too. Mainstream news outlets have smelled the blood and are not talking about the Marvel crisis, which I cover in another video. And let's be honest, ever since Captain Marvel premiere, it's been said that this movie is aimed at a particular set of the audience, women. But they did not go out to see this movie. Did they not like going to the theater? Well, remember this little movie Barbie? That movie hit the zeitgeist, showing Marvel may not really know what women want. The Marvels also faced multiple production issues that required four weeks of reshoots and a premiere date that was pushed back multiple times. Those delays prompted the director Nia Acosta to complete post-production remotely while she was working on another movie. So that goes to show what her priorities were. Word of mouth won't save this movie in the long run either. The movie got a B cinema score, which surveys mainstream audiences right as they come out of the theater. But these aren't your typical superhero fanboys, these are your moms, your uncles, your cousins, etc. And they gave this movie a B, which in school terms is a good grade, but for big superhero movies it represents a meh. The movie is just okay, and a meh won't get people back to the theater for repeat viewings. All of these factors may have contributed to the crash landing of the Marvels this weekend, and it is sad to see the once mighty Marvel fall down this hard after more than a decade of unprecedented success. But what needs to happen now is they need to learn from their mistakes and begin getting their house in order, get their shit together. And looks like they are. They have decided to release only one superhero movie in 2024, Deadpool 3, while they work on reworking all the others that they deem not good enough. Can the MCU go back to what it once was? Or superhero fatigue has already won the battle here? What do you think? Also, what do you think the Marvels tank? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Hector Navarro, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.